What's good, 1000 gang, and welcome back to my channel, Kamalam Kulelona. And thank you so very much, guys, for tuning into yet another episode of Everything Lelona. Now, if you are new here, thank you so very much, Ndasa, for tuning into this particular video. I really hope that you will enjoy it and that will make you hit that little subscribe button somewhere over here. And if you are a regular subscriber, a gang, gang, day one, what's good, what's up, what it do um so i really hope that you are well and that you are taking care of yourself this is a very 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 special episode for me personally because we have finally hit 1000 subscribers and this literally happened right before my birthday so guys first and foremost thank you i really really am truly humbled by the support and how you guys have received my channel and my content i am so excited i am so 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 excited that we actually have reached this number like to think that a thousand people are watching me whenever i post videos like where do you begin baby so thank you so very much guys again and also one more thing that i need to announce my channel has finally been monetized. So you are going to be seeing quite a lot of ads on my videos from now on, okay? So whenever you see an ad, just watch it. You know how when you would watch TV, QTS TV, and there's like an ad, you stand up and go to the bathroom, right? Do that. Do that. Like, let the ads play. So, guys, you are going to be seeing quite a lot of ads. And I really, really hope that you guys will watch them. Because that's how we make money on YouTube, I guess. Right? So, as I said, that I am so excited for this new chapter. And I do want to celebrate this chapter and this milestone. So, you guys, please leave your comments down below about what or how you would like for us to celebrate this so just leave your comments down below comment on what maybe you would like for me to do maybe a giveaway maybe i don't know i don't know so you just tell me what you would like for me to do to celebrate this milestone that we have reached as a channel so i'll just see what is going to be possible for me to do from the comments and then we'll do that okay so before i go any further note that I am going to be drinking and yes I am on medication because I had the flu and 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 the flu that will come to an eye but you are guys man this is the alcohol and that's why you would see that there's like some scarring left here because I had like fever blisters and stuff so don't mind that so today's video is going to be a story time which I know you guys have been dying for I actually had another story time that I wanted to tell, but I decided, no, I'm not going to tell that story. So, this story I'm going to be telling you guys today is a story that I thought of literally like 30 minutes ago. I was like, um, so I'm going to tell the story. I had another different story that I wanted, I wanted to tell. So I was like, okay, I'm going to tell that story. And then a friend of mine and I were talking and he mentioned this person's name and Oh, Konja, I once dated or had a thing with his son. So, I was seeing someone and then I had a thing with their son on the side. Messy, right? So, if you are interested in hearing more of the story, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, press on that, press on that subscribe button and without wasting any of your time let's get into the video so like all good stories this story took place in pretoria right i don't remember the year like i wanted to be so spicy with this video because both of these people kind of watch my channel and they know that my channel exists and the father and son so i wanted to be like spicy nyana you understand so <laughs> So I wanted to actually say the year, but I really, really cannot forget what or can't remember what year this was. But I was still a student. I was still living in Pretoria. And so this is what happened. Right. So at this time, I was single as fuck. I was single as fuck. And 
I was on Tinder one time. I'm on Tinder. I'm swiping. I'm swiping. I'm swiping. I'm swiping. I'm swiping. Then I get to this 50-year-old gentleman. I'm like, what do I do with this one? What do I do with this one? So I was like, let me swipe right. Let's see. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what's popping. So this guy had like, he didn't have the cutest pictures there. Like you could tell that the that that the pictures he had were a bit old pictures. But I was like, I see the potential. I see the potential. This one might be the one. So I swipe right and we match. So this guy and I match and then we immediately start talking. So we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. And natural progression is that this is going to then escalate onto WhatsApp, right? It did. So we exchange numbers, we go over to WhatsApp, we start talking on WhatsApp. And then I ask him, but I do my kinds of little pictures like as a recent. So he sends a couple of his pictures, which are quite recent. I'm like, oh, okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. He was a dark skinned guy. He had a beard, right? But it wasn't a full beard, but he had a beard. Um, like a nice beard, man, for a 50 year old. He had a nice beard and he was short. The guy was short. He was quite short and very petite. He was tiny for a 50 year old. Like, guys, in my head, I'm thinking of a 50 year old. On Zimba, on Kaba, on do you get? But this guy wasn't that. He was like well taken care of. He had nice skin. He didn't look 50. So when he said he's 50, I was like, nigga, you're lying. Right? So he was good looking for a 50 year old. He was very good looking. Oh. We start talking on WhatsApp, we start calling each other, and days go by, the conversation is nice. This guy is like showing me interest and I'm showing interest back because one thing about me, I love me, an older gentleman who is consistent and is saying all the nice things, right? So this guy is saying all the right things. Well, listen, man, I really, really dig your vibe. And I'm like, I dig your vibe as well, daddy. Yeah, well. So one Friday, one Friday, I think it's now, it's been a week of us talking and like calling each other and texting and whatever. So it's been a week and it's now on a Friday. Now he says to me, I'm going to be in town because I lived in Acadia and he lived in Pretoria North. So I did say that I want to be spicy and shake things up and mention people's not people's names. No child, I could never. No child, never. Not people's names. But with the details I'm going to be giving you guys, I will not try and change details so that this will be some con. I'll give you the exact details, okay? So if they see this and they like, that's us. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are you gonna fight me? Are you gonna drag me? Drag me, Monique. Drag me, Monique. So he lived in Pretoria North and I lived in town, in Arcadia. So we'll give him the name Msholos. So if you know him, if you know him, you will know who I'm talking about, that's Msholos. Msholos, ne? So, um, Msholos is like, I am gonna be in town on, on Friday or today. Um, and I would love to see you, just to sit and talk and just to get to know you, yeah, bo? So I'm like, Oza, I wasn't going down because you live on the other side of Pretoria. He's like, no, there's a friend of mine, Oza, Guam, so we are going to be, I'm going to go fetch him at the Houghton station and then we're going to go back to my house, blah, 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 whatever. Now, he gets to my place, he's like, ah, uh, okay, we have like an hour before this guy gets here. So we, we, we like chill in his car, we talk, we talk, we talk, we get to know each other. The guy calls, he's like, I'm at the Houghton station. We go to the Houghton station to pick up this guy. Now, this guy we are picking up is a friend of his. Yeah, bo? Chomiyake. Chomiyake. So when we get there, I'm like, I know you. So we're like, yo. So we know each other. Me and this guy, we'll call this guy Tira. Yeah, well, so I'm like, Tira, dude, what are you doing here? Yeah, well, he's like, no, this is my friend. I'm like, oh wow, such a small world. So, and then he's like, how do you know each other? Sholozi is on some no I'm like, 
already okay okay so okay guys that's what he said so sharp Otira is on some because I think the time was around like past seven to eight yeah you know? it's I think it was, it, it was even the last how train but it was late though so so now Tina is like let's go to La Cantina so remember that these people live in Pretoria North and I live in town in Acadia so and 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 La Cantina is in town like CBD so we go to La Cantina we have some drinks like we are in the party the party the party doof, doof. Um, um, um. You understand? Now we drink, we drink, we drink. And then around moment 12, we like, hi, bro, 12, and let's go home. Now, in going home, in the I me in Arcadia, where I live, it is going towards Pretoria North. And I'm like, Vala umlomo we are in Pretoria North. That's what's going on. Our Muzwanga, our Kazelwanga, but that's what's going on. You are going to Pretoria North. Okay? Sharp. Nyan gets if you get Pretoria North, we get to this guy's place. It's a huge house. Yeah, man. It's a huge house. So we get to his house and we park the car, we get inside, he pours us um, some drinks, Dimunguye and Utira. Pours us some drinks and we drink, we drink, we drink, we drink. We have a nightcap and we like recording it at night. Now, for now, we are Guys, obvious. I'm gonna go sleep with Msholos. Okay? So Msholos' room is like on the other side of the house. And then Lena Utira is gonna be sleeping in, is on the other side of the house. So it's like Msholos' room, and then there's like another spare room next to his. And then it's like the lounge, dining room kitchen area and then it's other rooms that side you understand so now what happens is that we go to bed we do what grown ass people do so see can it be in a sense obvious obvious guys i know don't die i'm not gonna say it yeah bro? so we indulge we indulge and then we wake up the following morning Guys, like this story, I didn't plan it. Like normally when I tell a story, I would plan it in my head or I plan it down and dot everything down like the flow of events. But this one, I literally thought of it 30 minutes ago. So I'm going to be all over the place. Sharp. So we sleep, we wake up in the morning. When we wake up in the morning, Utira is talking to someone in the lounge. And I'm like, was there someone else in this house? So of course, I thought it was just me and... It was me, Tira, and Msholos in the house. Like, is there someone else? So, um, so, so uh, I go out. I'm in Msholos' gown. I go out and then I'm like, oh, hey, Tira, hey. And then I see this other guy. I'm like, hi. And he's like, hello. And then I'm like, okay, this is awkward. And then I go back to the room. So I'm, so I'm asking Msholos, who's that? He's like, that's my son. I'm like, oh, okay. You have children. Now we start talking about children. He's like, I've got six kids. I've got don't don't so I buy two Bachala Nahe and then Oi one is older than me, so we are Sebenza and Abany Basa KZN because he was Zulu. Banya Basa KZN whatever. But he has six kids all in all. And one of them is like my age or is a year younger than me. So but we are like the same age, basically. So it's him now who's in the house, the one who's my age. Sharp. So I go back and then we have breakfast and then he takes me back home. So I've had conversations now with his son. I've sat with the son, we've talked, we've laughed. Like it was nice. You understand? It was nice. It wasn't anything awkward. Like he wasn't on some what are you doing here? He wasn't giving me any looks. He was pretty nice. You understand? So and it was evident, guys, Uguti. No, I'm lying. There was only one room this side. So it was evident. Yes, there was only one room this side, which was um, Solozo's room. And then all the other rooms are this side. So if I woke up here, it means I slept where? On Solozi or in Solozo's room. And there's only one bed. Lily, I know. I know. Obviously, I feel like, I feel like. 
So it was pretty evident um, Ukuba, what's going on between Unusolozi and I. Even from our interaction there, it was pretty evident. So this guy or this boy will name him Solozi Tutuzan. You are you are Um we'll name him You We'll name him Kaman. <laughs> so, <laughs> so again, I'm trying to be messy and spicy. This guy's name starts with a Q, right? So we'll name him Kaman. So now, Kamani is my age, and we have discovered Ukuti. We both go to TUT. And we discovered we are in the same campus. Hi, Mo, Kaman. Yeah, Mo. So, um, I became a regular at Musholo's place. Um, he, he would come and pick me up. We go to his place. Kamani is there. I have conversations with Kamani. I get there sometimes. I even cook. Like I was umtu Musholo's essentially. You understand? So I would go there. Um, there was one time where I was so 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 sick. He came, he picked me up for, 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 cause I was, I wasn't going to school cause I was really sick. I, I literally spent the entire week at his place and he was like tending to my needs, literally everything I needed. Umsolozi was there, Kamani was there helping Udadake take care of me. Okay. So this was a legit thing. So now. One time, um, I'm a regular most fan, and one time Musolo's had a party. Now, Kule party, the Utira is there, the, the older son is there, Kamani is there, and Pan Kutuela, Man Kutuela, 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 Yipa, Ti, Potoi. So, so now, at Musolo's, let's go fetch this other friend, Yake, who lives yo. Somewhere in Pretoria North as well, but it's like a drive way to like at this time. I am so drunk. I am so drunk. I am drunk. I am high. I can't on the ending. Yeah, so Atum Solo the Masambe Atum Kamani is coming with. We're like, okay, cool. So I'm sitting in the front with Musolos. Kamani is sitting behind me at the back, right? So as motto, Yamba. I feel a hand like like this hand. So this is how we're sitting. I'm sitting here. Solos is sitting here driving, right? So Solos is sitting next to me driving. And then behind me, there's Kaman. It's dark. Excuse me, it's dark. And his hand comes this way. So Solos can't see. Okuti, what is this boy doing? Now I'm freaked out on some. Do I react to this or do I keep quiet and address it later? Like what the hell is going on? So this boy touches me and I'm sitting there on some. I'm just sitting there. So as an Baba Bambe and Baba Bambe, I'm like this is so awkward. I don't even know if his dad knows if this boy is interested in boys. Like, how do I even start and bring up this conversation? Ne? So I'm sitting there letting him do what he's doing. And then I'm like, I gag. So I take his hand and like remove his hand. And then I look forward and not like, Dingam Jongi, Dingam Jongi. So we get to where we're going. Atum Solozi, Uyehik. He's coming back. So essentially he's telling us that sit, sit in the car, I'm coming. And then this one gets out of the car and then opens my door. And I'm like, huh? He's like, I will, why did you, why did you remove my hand? I'm like, are you asking me that question? Are you honestly asking me that question? What do, why did I remove your hand? Dude, what you're doing was so inappropriate though. Yeah, well, so that was like the chat about what you did was so inappropriate. You know I'm with your dad. And why would you do that, man? Like, especially si so batatu. Like you could have done that. Okay, 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 okay. He should have done that. 
to begin with. It's to look like that to begin with. So, so I'm like, that was so inappropriate. You should have done that. Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. And it was now Umbega in an awkward position because I'm in the car with you and your dad. And this thing happened while he was there. And if I now tell him later on, Uzaba, like, why did you not say anything at that particular time? It can start a fight. So what you did was so inappropriate. Please do not do it again. That was the chat. Ne? Sharp. Buyum Sholozi. He's like, why, are, why is there so much tension between you two? Like, what's going on? I'm like, no, nothing is going on. Yeah, bo? So we are... So I'm like, I was angry. I was angry at the time. And... I think told me, I can I get introduced to the friend. We all go back to Sholozi's house. We party, we party. The night ends. People go home the following day. Wangati Kondo. Now, remember, I was once there for like a week, right? So, Ukamani took my number while I was there because he would go to the store, he would call me, when I, is there anything that you want? So he has my number and we are in the same campus, remember? So now one time I was on campus and I bumped into him and then we start talking, man, like, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, we start talking, go back, nice, go back, nice, go back, nice. We talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk, we talk. And then he's like, so what time are you going home? I'm like, I'm going home literally now. He's like, can I come with you? Because I don't have any classes for the rest of the day. And it's like still in the morning. He's like, I don't have any classes for the rest of the day. And I'm not going home. I'm like, okay, cool. We can go back to my place and chill. He's like, cool. We go back to my place. We get to my place. He's like, cool. We go back to my place. We get to my place. And then... Remember, at the back of my head, I'm like, this boy wants me. This boy wants me. And I don't want this boy. Different that I came. Nah. Like. So, uh, we get to my place and we, I think I poured him a drink. Something to drink. We, we chill. We talk. Nabi konto. Nabi konto. But now, I pick up in the language that this guy is using that no man this boy is actually into boys like he would address me as <laughs> no babe like tell the wrong babe now i'm your dad's babe not your babe like i'm your dad's babe so like he addresses me and i'm like i'm not sure how i feel about this mind you kamani was cute Kamani was cute, okay? Kamani was cute. So, he starts addressing me as babe. I'm like, I am na. Like, you can't call me babe. Like, Jani, Jani, sweetie. Jani, Jani, sweetie. I know. So, um, he goes home later on and he like, he starts chatting to me on WhatsApp on some It was really great spending the day with you You're so cool You're no 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 I'm like oh man thank you so much It was great having you here Blah 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 So on our chats we talk about church That no I'm a worship team Don don Yeah boy Yeah I'm a worship team Blah 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 He's like oh really I've been meaning to get a church this side So I invite him to my church <laughs> So I invite Kamani to my church. So we go to church. Um, he comes on Sunday. We go to church. To his dad, I don't know what was the chat. Because I never brought it up with his dad. Okuti, I was with Kamani. It is a Valentine, guys. Like, why would I? Like, I could not tell him. So I would always ask him, Ubana, so what did you say to your dad? He's like, no man, he knows nothing. Who I was with, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm hanging out with my stepson. And I'm not telling his father that I'm hanging out with my stepson. Like, and I can see that this boy wants me. What the fuck am I actually doing? That was what was going on in my head. I'm like, I don't know how to handle all of this. I don't know how to handle all of this. So, um, that particular Sunday, obviously this guy is going to come back to my house. So, I wake up in the morning, the... Not anymore, mess me with that shit. But on Sundays, seven colors. So, I wake up in the morning, I start cooking. Start cooking, bake rice, 
no like there's a whatever way to there's a whatever but i knew by inyama it's a clan buya so green yama clan buya and then we'll eat after church so fine um i then invite him back to my house i'm like let's go back to my place and we'll have something to eat there and then you can go home later on Sharp. so we go back to my place and then we open a bottle of wine he's helping me cook in the kitchen finish up what i'm doing i'm like you know what ukamani is actually boyfriending like like we are boyfriend we are mates and like utata ke and it's trying to figure out why ke funa kandi zezele yonkina ngokwami ukamani is out here he's assisting he's helping he's you understand we are gera we are pilisha umfana i'm like we are boyfriend man wena we are boyfriend and one thing about him he had thighs right and he would like thighs like a were or thick thighs save lives yeah boss thick thighs save lives come on and he liked wearing or skin so you would see every thing <sighs> so i'm sitting there we are drinking i'm smoking my hush right i'm smoking i'm getting lit I'm like So now this boy I see how he's looking at me and I'm looking at him differently now I'm like boy you can never handle this he's like you sure I'm like what you mean I'm sure I'm telling you you can never handle this So guys <laughs> bufede you 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 bufede So I'm like you can never he's like do you want me to prove it i'm like sure sure let's see what you got let's see what you got does he not back us at me against the fridge does he hey why yet sir umdana in the so we start kissing we start kissing and never passionate never passionate never passionate so now i'm like i'm actually about to smash my stepson what form of ancestry is this cuz this is my step son this is my step son he must call me daddy like i call his dad daddy but that's that's besides the point this is my step son okay so we kiss we kiss we kiss we kiss we kiss and then because i live in like in a studio apartment the bed is so is very close the bed is very close so we move from the kitchen like go go in the bed take off the t-shirt i was like wait whoa zia mbuyi ngqondo ke ngoku i was like wait wow whoa 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 rewind this rewind this back up a bit my nigga back up a bit because i'm not about to smash my own step son like you know we've all we've touched each other in sensitive areas ne and i was like fuzudata fuzudata we but 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 i was like ha 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 we are here we are here so i literally stopped that kiss right after we both took off our t-shirts and i was like we can't do this we can't do this we can't do this and it ended there it ended there it ended there that's all i'm going to say it ended there but kamani and i went on to become good friends we even now we could still have each other's numbers we would still text each other every now and then but we never had any sexual encounters after that day and i never told his dad like there was no reason to tell his dad because I am funny being in the like umdana besa experiment so yes so after that after that that whole thing he went on to study at PE and became friends with another friend of mine hey and became <laughs> and became friends with another friend of mine so when they became friends because after Kamani and I had that thing we spoke and he's like yo you know I've never been with a guy before and I don't know what really propelled me to do that because that's not my thing and I love girls I don't know I was like boy that's absolutely fine that's fine that's fine yeah well I'm not going to say to you kuba you're lying to yourself or what you think 
is what's going on is what's going on and what you say is going on is actually what's going on but now when he got to PE he became friends with another friend of mine and then um, I was like so chomi eating eating doya kelo fan he's like ah chomi yo I'm like guy bo but come back to guy yo je because we we almost manas and what you come guy yo so what is that yo what guy bo uno hey I was like yeah come on yeah I come on like but that's where the story ends nothing really 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 happened we almost had cops. No Kabani, who was my man's son. Wow. I've decided, Ukuti, I must name this segment where I tell like my stories about my hallways. I will name it Whole Tales. So if you agree with that name, Whole Tales. So if you like the idea of naming this segment Whole Tales, please leave a heart emoji down below so that I can take that as a validation you're going to you guys agree so guys that was it for today again thank you so very much for the support and thank you so very much for continuously supporting and showing love i will see you guys on my next video bye